Man, don't tell me this happened at LastPass again. What's up guys, it's Josh back with another video and today I got some more cyber news. And today I wanted to cover the recent hack that happened to LastPass. And if you guys remember like a couple months back, I did an article where I talked about an actual hack that happened at LastPass where a lot of customer information, you know, was received and all that stuff. If you guys want to check out that video, you can check it out. Uh, I'll link it down in this video. But yeah, it looks like it kind of happened again or something to that effect. So I saw this article and I had to cover it because I covered the original, you know, and this is tied to that. So let's go on and hop over to the article right fast and check out what happened to LastPass for the second time. <laughs> Before we move forward, I wanted to ask the Keep It Techie fam to consider joining my channel membership. By joining the membership, you can support the channel. Get access to member only videos, tech mentorship, early technical course access, and exclusive Linux content. Thanks, and back to the video. All right, cool. So, this is on Bleeping Computer. It says LastPass says uh, hackers accessed um, customer data in new breach. So, this is an officially official new breach. So, I'm assuming they exploited another vulnerability at their company but let's let's go through and, and kind of read through it but it says uh last pass says unknown attackers breached its cloud storage using information stolen during a previous security incident from august yeah and that's when that happened so <laughs> they're basically using some more information that they got from a previous hack to access other areas of the company it says the company added that once in the threat actors also managed to access uh, customer data stored in the compromised storage service. So that that sucks right there, man. That that really sucks right there. This this is a bad thing. But it says we recently detected unusual activity within a third party cloud storage service, which is currently shared by both LastPass and its affiliates. Uh, go to the company said. And then it also says, uh, we have determined that an unauthorized party using information obtained in August 2022 incident was able to gain access to certain elements of our customers' information. LastPass said it hired security firm Mandiant to investigate the incident and notify law enforcement of the attack. Yeah, and I, I remember bringing that up during the, the previous uh, uh, hack that actually happened. Uh, and the reason what 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 made it stand out to me, Mandiant is where uh, my man Gabe Bay used to work at or whatever. He used to work for Mandiant um, and there's a, like a security firm and they come out and do investigations. And I asked him, you know, in one of the interviews I did a while back, if he actually, you know, saw anything about this attack or whatever. But anyway, it says uh, it also noted that customers passwords have not been compromised and remain safely encrypted due to LastPass zero knowledge architecture. And that's that's a great thing about the way their system is is uh, set up. They don't even know they don't even have access to, you know, uh, the passwords. They're encrypted to even, you know, the, the people that work for the company. It's not like it's encrypted and then stored, you know, somewhere. They don't even know. They don't have access to it because it's encrypted. They can't figure it out. But uh, it says we are working diligently to understand the scope of the incident and identify what specific information has been accessed. So, yeah, they got a lot of work of them work ahead of them. And I'm I'm sure they probably still working with Mandy uh, to figure this out. But it says uh, this is the actual tweet. Uh, it says we recently detected unusual activity, basically the same information. Uh, and it says more info right there. So they put that up on their Twitter account uh, with their official statement which we read a little earlier. Yeah, but this is a crazy part. It says breached twice in one year. You know what I'm saying? I think this this might be like one of the only companies that's been breached like this multiple times within the same year. But it says this is the second security incident disclosed by LastPass this year after confirming in August that the company's developer environment was breached via compromised developer account. Yeah, and that's what I remember from the original article. Uh, it was someone that worked there, his, account got hacked 
some kind of way i don't know if he fell for a fish or a fishing you know fishing email or something to that effect and gave up his account information or it was stolen some kind of way he put it into a spam site some kind of way which you think somebody that's a developer would know not to do that you know what i'm saying but they come up with these you know crazy ways of uh tricking people and we're all human we can file for it you know what i'm saying not saying but but still you know you have to go do security training every year you know what i'm saying and you end up you know and and then maybe it was stolen some kind of way i don't know but it says the advisory and and one crazy part about this though um i wonder if they had two-factor authentication you know enabled that's something that should have been you know enabled across the company you know what i'm saying especially for a developer account you know what i'm saying now it says the advisory was published days after bleeping computer reached out to the company and received no response to question regarding a possible breach in emails sent to customers at the time last pass confirmed the attackers had stolen source code and proprietary technical information from his system and it also says in a subsequent um update the company revealed that the attackers behind the august security breach maintained internal access to their systems for four days until they were evicted so they were in the system they they kind of figured out their whole network you know that's enough time if you sit in there you know for four days within their network yeah you you got time to figure out everything about their network and that and i'm assuming that's why they knew to go or they knew to go after the cloud um uh, uh storage storage spot so that's that's super crazy now it says uh lastpass is behind one of the most popular password management software claiming that it's being used by more than 33 million people and 100,000 businesses so yeah a lot of people are affected by this um it is definitely important that i'm let people know or at least uh make people aware of this you know at least with my small channel you know the little people that watch my channel uh, at least be aware of this that what this is what's going on with LastPass. and i know i also seen my man um professor black ops he did a video on that as well uh it's a little bit more in depth so go on and check out his video as well uh he covers this in a little bit more detail than i am but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, share, and subscribe. And if you have any questions, you know, leave comments down in the comments. As well as if tell me your thoughts of you know this company being hacked twice in you know in one year or whatever and how crazy it is. Just just talk about it if you can. But I hope you guys have a productive week and of course keep it techy.